Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to lock your iPhone without pressing the power off button. So if you have an iPhone where your home button or your standby button has been damaged or they're not working, then let me show you two different ways where you can lock your iPhone while using the screen or your iPhone. So the very first way is to use your assistive touch, which is this dot here. This will give you some more controls on your screen and you can use this to lock your iPhone. So let me show you how to enable this. So first you wanna go ahead and go into settings. Next, you wanna scroll down until you see accessibility. Here you wanna go ahead and scroll down until you see touch. From here, you wanna go ahead and find assistive touch, which is at the top. You need to go ahead and toggle the switch to the right hand side and you'll see this white dot appear on screen. You can move it anywhere you like. Now you wanna go back to your home screen now to lock your screen while using this assistive touch, go ahead and tap on it. Then go ahead and tap on the device and then go ahead and tap on lock screen. Once you do this, this will lock your screen. Now the second way of locking the screen is by using your back tap feature. So your back tap feature is basically a gesture control on your iPhone where you can basically tap twice and that will lock your screen. So let me show you how to set this up. So to, en so to enable the back tap feature, go ahead and tap on settings, scroll down until you see accessibility, tap on touch, scroll all the way down until you see back tap. So now as you can see, there's two options, double tap and triple tap. So as you can see, double tap is currently set to tap a wallpaper or set a wallpaper. So let's go ahead and tap on that and change that to lock the screen. So now if I go back, I'll go back to my home screen, I'll go ahead and use my index finger and tap at the back twice, one, two. And as you can see, it has locked the screen. Let's do it again, one, two. So using the back tap feature, I've basically locked the iPhone. So there you go guys, those are the ways which you can lock your iPhone if your power or standby button on the right hand side has been damaged or is faulty. Now, if you're new on the channel and you want to find out more about your iPhone, your Android phone, or any other social media apps, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button if you find this video useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.